Okay, in this video we're going to look at output and we're going to look at a workflow between Revit, 3ds Max, so under Families, New Conceptual Mass, I'm going to choose the Mass Template, and let's just look at our unit. So if I go to Manage and I go to Project Units, and I go to length. You see that our units are feet and fractional inches. So one unit equals one foot in Revit. That's the default, and that's what we set up our Rhino file to be. Okay, so we're going to link this Revit file into 3ds Max, and we're going to do that by the way of exporting as an FBX file because we're in a family file it's a .rfa and in 3ds max 2013 there's no way to link an rfa file you can link revit files or fbx files so we're going to export this as an fbx and i'm going to just go ahead and click on save And we're going to go ahead over to 3ds Max now. And I'm going to go to the Big M import and I'm going to link Revit, which can either be a Revit file or an FBX. And I'll select my FBX. Okay, what's really great here is I have many options to link my Revit file. I can combine by Revit material, by category, by family, as one object. And what this does is it really reduces the geometry and the file size in 3ds Max and makes it manageable. In the past, just bringing in an FBX file with a lot of complex geometry, it tend, tended to crash 3ds Max or not allow it to render because it would run out of memory. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just, this is my preference right now is to combine by Revit family type. So it'll give me one object with that curtain panel family or as that curtain panel family. So I'll choose combine by Revit family type and I'll click on attach this file. And I'll go ahead and close this. And it brings in with it from Revit, it brings in a, a, a daylight, and it brings in the camera, which was the 3D view in Revit. Now, if I go ahead and render this out, I'm just going to get this very white image. And what we have to do is we have to go to Rendering Environment. And we need to set the exposure control. And we're going to use Mental Ray Photographic Exposure Control. And we're going to set our exposure value. Um, 16 is the darkest. We could take a look at setting this to 14 and see what that looks like. 